kids and welcome back to Are You a Rose? We are right here in Junonpolis, right where we left off. <coughs> we're going to do a number of these quests, all but this one because that requires me going back to Anima Lake and we're not going to do that right now. But we are going to try to collect some maple branches, going to try to get some spines, going to try to get some eyelashes, and going to try to get some golden fragments. So that is our idea for today and while we're doing it we're gonna come right over here and just start getting right into this now some of these guys are gonna be a little bit tougher than what I'm normally fighting because we are just a smidge bit out of our level zone but not by too much we're kind of pretty much right where we need to be, so we're just a little low. But I do not have any, um, I do not have the no experience scroll on, so we should be able to make sure that we do get experience for this so that we can start getting up in our levels. So hope you all had a good Halloween. Mine was not too incredibly bad. Could have been a lot better, but it wasn't too bad. On the whole, it wasn't too bad. Come on. I didn't even look to see that this guy had a uh, pink name. Now he was a... Uh, you can see it's kind of a pinkish orange. He's a bit above our level. Come on, kill him already. Oh man, it figures. Right as I get him done, then this other guy decides to start attacking me. Oh, they both decide to start attack. Oh no, just this one. Okay, well, we can beat him. He's kind of got a yellow name, so should be alright with that. Alright. Now, back over here. <clears throat> Essentially, we gotta fight these porkies. We gotta fight Captain Moldies. Not just regular Moldies, but Captain Moldies. Oh, that guy would attack me. He had no reason to, but he did. Let's get that Zuli here in just a second. I gotta get rid of this Moldy. Oh man, this other guy just decided to start attacking me. Okay, guess we'll beat him too. Sometime, okay, there we go. Okay, let's pick up our spoils here. Alright. Now, I said... I would show you guys this because it exists over here. See this little farm over here? You come over here and this little farm you can get a quest to get a pet chicken. Alright, let's see here. We can go on ahead and get this too. Raising healthy pets. If you want, I can give you one. Really? Let me have one. Into the city. If you can return them, I'll allow you to keep one. You'll have your own very pet chicken. Good. I'll get on it. Now, next time we're in June and Polis, <coughs> essentially we just gotta go and get the ten chickens that are around there. And that will allow us then to um, have our own pet chicken. Okay, that's a gold mine one, which we don't need. We need a captain. Oh, there's a captain right there. That's, that's the one I need. You can tell he's a captain other than it says it, but it's also because he's got the stars on there. And he hits incredibly freaking hard. Oh my goodness. My 
gosh, he hits hard. Look at that, he is, I mean, he is giving me a wallop now. Oh, and another captain decides to hop in. Okay, we need to get rid of this captain too. Fortunately, we needed to fight some captains, so... That works out. It's just gonna drain... I got a feeling it's gonna drain my pots pretty severe. Come on, do the skill, please. If I could stun him for a minute, it may help. There we go. That'll help a little bit. Didn't help a whole lot. Like I said, you guys, we are a little bit out of our element here with uh, the levels. Okay, let me go get this. And little hooligan right here, you are ticking me off, buddy. He's at the level that I should be fighting, but... Holy smokes. Seriously. That hurt. Although, we did get four spines, and we got one gold fragment, so that's a good thing. So let's come over here. Go back over here on the other side of this map. We can actually fight Porky's over at Anima Lake if we really need to get out of this area because of... If we start getting massively attacked by all of these moldies and that kind of stuff, we can always head over there. Because there are some moldies and there are some captains over at Anima Lake as well, but the Anima Lake has a whole bunch of Porky's around there, so... We can go that route <clears throat> if we need to. Grunters, I really don't like because these guys are a little high up on the list. There's a captain. I just don't want to get too close to around all of these guys and then end up getting my butt kicked when I don't necessarily have to. Okay, got that. Now, if we can. Oh, seriously? Oh, and he's a fighter, too. That means he hits really hard. Well, he hits really hard at our level, anyway. Especially since I wasn't going after him, and I was trying to go after that captain. here and avoid some of these guys it would help but it's like these guys look at that see that guy he specifically ran over to start attacking me we are definitely going to be going through some pots you guys i got a feeling oh now i got three attacking me oh so wrong For some reason, my jump skill that allows me to stun is not working correctly. Okay, that's good. That gave us another piece of the gold there that we needed. Come on. Oh, darn it, didn't stun him. Yeah, that's one of the issues about fighting in this area. If you're not at level, phew, these guys attack really hard. Oh, and it's going nighttime, means we're gonna have candle ghosts out here. Oh, this is not good. Give ourselves some health.
Get out of here. Alright, let's get out of here before this candle ghost forms. That would not be good. Okay, so I said we weren't going to Anima Lake. Apparently we are, because... The level of these guys out here are a bit rough for what I need to fight. And too many of them, uh, these higher levels are attacking me at once. So, we will come back over here into Anima Lake, apparently. Just to be on the safe side. Hmm. What do you have for sale? Gems? Not too incredibly bad. Not on price, anyway. Don't need any of that. Nice, cheap ECM shop. Uh, not really anything I need right now. Ooh, I definitely could use those. Uh, let's see here. Um... Hey, it won't let me, um... Okay. There we go. Okay, we'll buy two Junin scrolls. Uh, Gob Cave, you know, we're not actually to Gob Cave yet, but... I am going to go on ahead... Oh! Oh, I don't have the money. Is he buying? He's not buying anything. Okay. We're just going to have to go sell some stuff, and then I'll remember that he's out here. But we did get two Junin scrolls. That's a good thing. That'll allow us to come back here. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and now these are standard moldies, so we do need to fight these. But, fortunately, these guys are spaced out so much, uh, are spaced out a, quite a bit much more than what was in that other world, so, right there outside of the capital. So, we should be able to fight these guys without too much of a problem. Hmm. says, I thought those were standard moldies. I'll need to check here in a second. Just in case that's a specific kind, and we've been fighting the wrong kind here. Because there's nothing worse than spending a whole bunch of time sitting here fighting, and then you find out you're fighting the, uh, wrong type of character. Let's go over here. Oh no, we got one. Okay, so no, that's the right character. We're okay with that. Okay. Hello, Mr. Moldy. Uh oh, I got too close to the lake. Now I can hear all the lake sounds. Man. Normally I like for that sun to come into effect. I kind of count on it a little bit too much, I believe. Oop, wrong button. Okay. And, okay, good. We got a, we got another one off of that, so that's good. That is good. Oh, there's a seller right here. I wonder if we can sell some our crud to get some, uh, money real quick. What did that say? But merchant, we're providing cheap prices than Junin Polis, but merchant, but can merchants really be trusted? What? Well, okay. Basically, it just told me no, I couldn't buy from him. Or sell to him, apparently. That's not nice. Okay, come on. Stunning again, yes. Is it not going to allow me to pick it up? There it goes. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it says, no, you're too far out of position and it won't allow you to pick it up. Okay, regular moldies. Oh, I need to uh, refill my health here. And my magic. 
Oh, we are definitely gonna have to buy some more mana pots, you guys. And health pots. Oh, nice. Always like it when we level up. Now, I am probably gonna add points and stuff in later. Right now, I'm kind of concerned, or my main focus of concern is to uh, try to get these things done. Stunning, stunning. Ah, uh, darn. Okay. Did we get, we didn't get another one off of that, darn. Okay, got the stun in. Alright. Come on. I also need to check and see what my next level of equipment is. Because I know we're going to be getting up on it here soon. And you'll notice since I leveled up, the moldies now went to a gold name. Hmm, what about, okay, aqua warriors. All the, my aqua stuff are still at gold name too, so that's okay. Because we still have that, to get that one necklace right here, so. Now give us some health. Oh no, I just clicked on magic. Give us some health too. Well, since he was right here. Right. Still didn't get the necklace from him, though. I'm gonna find out where that necklace is. By luck, on one of these times. And it'll be right when I'm not expecting it, and probably right when I'm like, okay, I'm just tired of looking for it, I'm gonna give up, I won't find it, and then I'll end up finding it and being like, how in the world? It's been known to happen before. Alright, get this guy, oh, those lake sounds you guys are driving me insane, when you can hear them all the time, it's not too bad when you're right there, and you're like doing it, and you can kind of ignore it, but man, when you can't ignore it, those lake sounds get really annoying, health, Okay, you wanna fight? I mean, I was gonna fight you anyway, but since you threw the first punch... I'll be glad to oblige. Okay. And sorry, you guys, if they... Um, if my mic sounds sound a little off, my good headset that I was using bit the dust on me. Just quit working. The, the actual, actually the headset part works, but the mic quit working. Just decided, nope, not gonna work anymore. So, ooh, see my aqua guards went green. As long as it doesn't go blue. It may go blue on the next one, though. But, yeah, my mic quit working. So I ended up having to pull out my old, my, uh, my old headset. And the microphone is just not as good on it. <clears throat> so it tends to sound a little bit more airy, a little bit rougher. I do apologize if that comes across in the video. Um, not, unfortunately, not a whole lot that I can do about it right now is what is kind of bad. Ooh, I got a capsule from that. You know what? Let's, um... Let's see, Aqua Guard... Pull him out real quick. He can, he can come right out here with us. Did he not come out? Oh, I'm not at level to use him. Darn. I am at level to use an Aqua Guard though, so we'll pull him out and we'll move him up there. So that will definitely help. Okay. Aqua Warrior. Since you're right here, you're gonna get hit. 
That's right. My little capsule monster is like battle time. Yes, it is. Okay, and he's got a little bit of health, but I can't really heal him at the moment. Come on. Oh man, that makes these fights so much quicker. I should have remembered that I could have summoned these guys. It would have been a whole lot easier. What are we up to? We're up to five of the eyelashes. Figure if we can get at least one of these done for today, it'd be nice. Now the porkies are all over on the other side of the lake, so... Well, not all of them. There's a bunch around here, but they're just off to the side down there. However, since I've got the moldies right here, and... I end up getting a fair amount of experience off the moldies. I figure might as well go ahead and fight the moldies while... While... Whilst... Whilst... Yeah, while I am standing here. And, you guys, I, uh, I did take Halloween off, in case you guys didn't see my tweet. I did take Halloween off, um, yeah, I was, I was busy. One, I was, I had to work, and two, ooh, a moldy capsule, perfect. Definitely be using that, as soon as I hit level on that, I'll definitely be using that. Um. But I decided, you know, it was a holiday, and, um, I was working, and, um, might as well. So I did take Halloween off. However, um, after getting some stuff, uh, configured, and after talking with Casello a bit, um, I gotta get, uh, a, He's still got to, uh, get some stuff taken care of at, um, on his end. But it looks like, you guys, it looks like we may be doing some zombies on this channel here soon. And, um, chances are it will probably be World at War zombies. Um, I know a couple of you guys had said, who, who had seen that I said that we would, might be putting some zombies out. Um, you guys asked what version of Call of Duty it was, and, uh, we decided instead of going with, like, say, Black Ops 3 zombies, which are good and all, I mean, we do like, you know, the, uh, BO3 zombies, there's just a lot of maps and stuff for the World at War zombies, and I kind of like the World at War uh, play uh, and or gameplay and the how everything works in it a little bit more than I like the Black Ops 3 version, so. It looks as though we're going to be doing the World at War Zombies, so... Which, as I have found out, a lot of people have said that they really liked World at War. And I gotta tell you, I've been... I've got the zombies unlocked, so I've played some zombies on World at War to get kind of used to it and stuff, and I've managed to get, like you know, the custom maps working, and, um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun when we go to do it. However, um, I will say, I, I'm really enjoying the campaign, and I'm not recording the campaign, I'm just kind of playing through the campaign, um, but I'm really actually enjoying the campaign of it, and, um, you guys, it's actually, that's, it's my very first Call of Duty. Um, I'm, I've not been really a huge Call of Duty fan when it comes to playing those kind of games. I love watching them, 
but I've not really been one to play them so much. Um, typically when it comes to first person shooters, my preference has always been the original Unreal Tournament or like say Quake where it's just, you know, Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, uh, King of the Hill, uh, Domination, Capture the Flag, that kind of thing. Um, so I've not ever really been into a Call of, as, as a Call of Duty player. Um, again, I enjoy watching them, but I've never, not really been one to play them, um, as a dedicated player. And so I finally decided after watching all of these plays of zombies and, and which I really do, I enjoy watching zombie playthroughs uh, when it comes to COD zombies. Um, but after watching a number of those, I decided, you know what, okay, I'm gonna go on ahead and I will get a Call of Duty so that I can play zombies um, because I do enjoy watching it. So, after doing some research and talking with some people, <clears throat> they suggested that as my first Call of Duty to own, that what I should do is get World at War. So I said, okay, and I got it, and you know, to be honest guys, um, I'm liking it. I, I think that the advice that I got as far as being the uh, first Call of Duty to get as a kind of new player to Call of Duty, uh, World at War was, really was a great choice, and I'm enjoying it, I really am, so, but I kind of got Casalo on board with it as well, and so, once he gets set up with it being able to get it, because at the moment, of course, work, Real life, you know how, you know, you guys know how your funds and stuff go. Every time you plan on being able to get something, it never kind of works out that way where you can get it. So, but I think we, we can get him with uh, getting that and uh, it looks as though we are going to be doing some Call of Duty Zombies using World at War. And we'll be like definitely playing some custom maps because... Um, there's a few custom maps that I've downloaded, um, through UGX, and, oh, super, super enjoying them, and really a lot of fun, and I, I kind of, kind of got bit by the cod bug with it, so, now I'm not a huge like I said, I'm not a huge COD fan when it comes to certain versions of COD. Um, honestly, once they started putting in the exosuits and, like, the jetpacks, to me, it kind of took away from the play experience. I'm more of a um, kind of boots-on-the-ground Let's, you know, kind of, a uh, hey, we're, we're all gonna be playing, and it's gonna be fair to the point whereby there's none of this, um, oh, I'm gonna fly up over your head where you can't see and hover directly above you and then shoot down on top of you, uh, kind of stuff that I've seen a lot of other players do while playing some of these newer COD games, and especially in multiplayer, and that, that kind of takes away from the the one-on-one -on -one feel of, you know, what it means to play a Call of Duty, or even watch a Call of Duty, so I'm going to stick with kind of the traditional, um, just boots on the ground, um, I do have um, Modern Warfare, the remastered Modern Warfare. I do actually have that. Um, I do not have it installed. Um, simply because it's... 
what it was is I had a... I, I have access to it from a friend. Let's put it that way. Um, he bought... Um, I believe it was Infinite Warfare where you got the remaster. Oh, I'm about to die. Where you got the uh, remastered Modern Warfare. And... Um, he essentially gave me access to it. And so I do have access to be able to play the new Modern Warfare. Oh, Candle Ghost, seriously. Um, in which, I, I've had a couple of people say, hey, I should really try it out. That if I like World at War, I should, I, I would like Modern Warfare. Um, maybe? I don't know yet. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to and kind of getting my feet wet with, um, the World at War, so, but like I said, I am enjoying World at War, I really am, I think it's, it, I think the, the play style, um, is really good on it, I'm really digging the campaign on it, um, I, it's, it's a lot of fun, so, I will, I will definitely be doing that, and then who knows, if I get done doing the World at War and decide to kind of maybe play through uh, Modern Warfare, I might. But don't know that I will record that yet because there's so many people who have playthroughs of um, the campaigns for World at War and Modern Warfare because they are, you know, they're... At this point, they're older games, so when it comes to being in the gaming field, you know, it's... Those games have been out for a while, so... It is it is an older game at this point, so I don't know that I would record those, but... Um, we'll definitely be recording uh, the zombies, and... Like I said, Casalo, me and Casalo have talked about it, and... As soon as I can get him, um, or as soon as he can get a copy of World at War and get on to there, then yeah, we'll be, we will definitely be recording and playing some zombies, playing the, um, uh, playing some custom maps, um, and that kind of thing, but yeah, I'm, I'm really, really liking World at War so far, so... For those of you guys who tweeted me when I asked that question, saying, which should I do? Um, yeah, I think you guys were right. I really do. I think you guys were right. World at War was probably the best one for me to start off with. Um, seeing as how much I enjoy the boots on the ground feeling and just kind of the, the take off and run and gun. So, appreciate that. So, but likely, yeah, we will probably be doing that here soon. But, never fear. I know a couple of you guys said, No, are you going to use it to replace one of your RPGs? No. Eden and Aryua will still be being played here, you guys. So, just tonight, you know, I figured I, I kind of needed to do a little... Uh, grind up work here to try to get some quests completed, so... Just kind of bring you guys along with me. And we'll do some quests here, and... Like I said, I'm still trying to find this necklace to get this necklace, and it's just on a random drop while fighting these Aqua characters. And I'm hoping it's not one of the times whereby... Ooh, they went green. Oh, because I leveled again. Um... I'm hoping it's not one of the cases whereby it's because I have to fight, like, say, an Aqua Captain to be able to get it. So, I may, because I know I still have, these guys, I still have some yellows in the Aqua guys, so I may end up using a no experience scroll if I haven't found these things. Oh my goodness, look at that. I started this this recording with 50 health files, and I'm now down to 15. Ugh. And, ooh, 
I'm probably gonna need to, uh... Nice! Do you, you guys, when you get a blue item like that, that means that they're, uh... Above, they're a step above. They're like plus items, so to speak. So... Definitely have to do that. Still don't have that necklace. Ah! Do not know where that thing is at. Okay. Oh, hey, pick that up, please. Thank you. How are we looking right now? Should... I think we're getting about time on this recording. So... What I may do, you guys, is... Uh... I may end up making this... Recording... And... End it, and then coming back, and after I've come back, have gotten some of these things. Because essentially this is... This is all I'm doing, you guys. I'm just kind of running through... And... Trying to get these quests right here completed. Um... Which, grinding like this for quests can be boring, I know. Um, I've had a couple of you guys actually say, you know, hey, is it possible you can, you know, do these quests off camera and then just kind of come back and show us the results of this? Um, but, and then I've had some of you guys go, uh, saying, hey, I, when I fast forwarded kind of in between, a couple of videos where I went on ahead and did the background questing and didn't show it, you guys said, you know, hey, why didn't you record you doing, you know, finding these items, these quest items and stuff? Well, uh, it's a hard balance, you guys. Some, some of you guys like it and some of you guys don't. So, you know, there's, there's only so much I can do. I, I can't please everybody all the time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, somebody ran out here, beat a bunch of guys, didn't bother picking up their stuff, and just left it. Really wish that they wouldn't do that. It's, it's, it's just kind of ridiculous to go through the trouble of fighting somebody, and then if they drop something, just going, Oh, well, uh, that's, that item is beneath me, I'm not going to pick it up. I mean, you can always pick it up and sell it, you guys. Jeez. Get some Zuli that way. I mean, I try not to let any of my items go to waste. So, what I may do is level up one more level here. And then start using the no experience scrolls, so that way I still have some aqua enemies that are in the the green and yellow to get drops from. Like I said, if they go light blue, you guys, that's pretty much... It means they're not going to drop items anymore, and if you have to get something uh, as far as like an item drop from killing things and they've reached, uh, or you've gone past that level where they're blue, they're just not gonna drop the items anymore. Even if it's a quest item, they're just not gonna drop the items anymore, and you kinda end up making it so that you can't complete certain quests if you go too far doing that, so... Let's see here, we've got five gold fragments, eight eyelashes, haven't fought the porkies yet. Oh, we did get the branches, though. That's a good thing. So we did get that. How are we looking? We're down on 12 pots. So you know what? I think... What we're gonna do... I think we will use one of these... Gen How did I get five extra scrolls? I thought I only had... Okay, I must have gotten some from a quest and didn't know it. Okay, well, we will warp right here to Junin. And, uh, likely what I will do is go turn this one branch quest into Eva, because she's right, um, over here. Across this bridge this way. Eva's the guide here. Yep. 
So we will turn in that quest. And then, you guys, I'm probably going to go buy some more um, potions. And then kind of go back out and do the majority of this work up on my own. Uh, let's see. I brought the goods. What have you brought? I brought the maple branches. No problem. Does she have another quest? Oh. I think that's a repeatable quest, so... Okay. Um... Why are you a point jelly? Um, I don't see that you're selling or buying anything. So, but, okay, you guys, I'm going to go on ahead and stop right here. Like I said, I will go over here and, uh, get some more potions bought and stuff, and then I'll go out and work up. Probably get to level 36 so that I can use my, uh, moldy capsule to help me fight. And, uh, try to get some of this stuff done and then when we come back in the next episode have a bit of this done so that we're not spending the level grinding and that kind of thing i will save the collected chickens uh, i will I'll, I'll make sure to save that and do that on camera for you guys so that, that way you guys can see it so but thank you very much for watching if you would hit that like button for me Helps me out, helps the channel out. If you haven't done so already, feel free to hit that subscribe button and then click that little bell so that you see when all of my new videos come out, regardless of the YouTube settings. Um, any helpful hints, tips, tricks, comments, suggestions, and or questions, please leave in the area below. And until next time, you guys, latest!